traders. I'm very pleased to have Johnny here, one of our graduate students who has successfully completed uh, several combined with Apex funding. And he's here on vacation. And he accepted kindly to have interview with us and share his experience in trading and with Trading Dreams Academy and the combined also. So thank you so much, Johnny. I uh, really appreciate it. So the first question that anybody usually have from someone like you that uh, becomes successful is uh, your history of trading. What made you interested in trading? And when did you start it? And also became familiar with the Trading Academy and so on. My pleasure, Doc. And uh, thank you for having me on. It's the least I can do for you, brother. So um, where did I pick up trading? Where did I want to start learning how to trade? I wanted to start learning how to trade because I think my story is different than a lot of other traders where they're like, oh, I was broke. I had no money. I, you know, I, you know, I hated my job. I hated my life. I needed to be financially free. My story is different. Like, I liked my life. You know what I mean? I am a successful business owner. I own a gym in the Hamptons called uh, Untamed. Yeah, I live in Southampton. I'm a Southampton resident. And I wanted to get in trading because I did my numbers and I started to figure out I'm not going to have Lambos, houses and mansions and Porsches and yachts as a boxing coach. It just... It's not going to happen, especially for me, where I'm a boxing coach, where I'm not so much about my money, but I'm about the community, helping people, giving people discounts and teaching people the arts. The arts is what's important to me, martial arts. And I sat down and as a businessman, you have to do your numbers and you're like, OK, I'm making money, but I'm not making Lambo. Money. I'm not making vacation three, four five times a year money. I'm not making the money that I can send my kids to a private school so they get the best education. It's not in my cards. I'm blue collar and I'm probably going to end up working the rest of my life, long hours, no time. I won't be around for my kids. I'll be, all my life will be dedicated into holding those mitts and training people, martial arts, and hoping that I, you know, that I, that I bring home a decent living. And so with that being said, I'm fortunate enough to, have my facility and live in a location where people have a lot of money. They're very well off. Uh, if you Google the Hamptons, it's one of the top places to live in uh, Eastern uh, North, North America, you know, in America. Okay. And with these clients, I've always, you know, kind of been like, Hey man, how did you make your first million dollars? You know, while I'm holding mitts for them, you know, I'm trying to pick their brain. I, I, I want what they have. I want the lifestyle that they have. I want to go on vacation. I want to, when the weather changes, I change my location. So I've always been intrigued with how they live. And every last one of them always say either I'm in financing, I trade, or I'm in real estate. But it's always trading, financing, or I'm an investor. It's never, I have 32 gyms. You know what I mean? Doc? <laughs> it's never that, right? So with that information, I went online and I said, okay, I got to study finance. So how do I enroll in the school for finance? So yeah. I go in, I'm looking up things. Instantly, day trading caught my attention. That's what, that's what got me going. Like there are many uh, jobs you can have in finance. But day trading was what, 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 you know, kind of, I had an instant draw to it. And I think it was because in that instant draw that I had of day trading, it was because it's more like martial arts. And I already own a martial arts studio. And so with martial arts and day trading, they have a lot of similarities. So I was drawn to that. I started about a year, a little over a year ago, not with Pat, but with someone else. Um, and I was sold on like, uh, there, was this, there was this company called BWO, I think it was, Bridging the Wealth Gap. 
And in America, there's slightly a wealth gap between African Americans. I mean, we all we all know this kind of stuff. And so I was all gun ho for that. Like, yeah, I wanna, you know, I wanna be a black man who, you know, figures out how to make money and and help other black people. And it just happened to be a scam. It was a scam program, and it didn't do me any justice. Um, but uh, during that duration of being in that program and me deciding to be a trader, I thought, okay. If I can take my money from my business, a small percentage, maybe like five, 10% of my business, maybe I'll get that Lambo. Maybe I'll get those houses. Maybe I'll be able to send my kids to a private school because other than my money just sitting in my bank account, waiting for the tax man to come take it from me at the end of the year, it take a little bit and I can learn how to day trade. Now, at first I went to a friend of mine who owns a hedge fund and I said, you know, oh, I got some money now. You know, I've always been, a one, he's always been my client. And I said, oh, I got some money now. I'm ready to invest. And he tells me, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can invest with me. And I'm, well, how much you got? I got about $45,000 to give to you. Okay, so this is what we can do. And in a nutshell, he tells me he can only give me 10%. I'm thinking to myself, like, 10%? And it's going to take me 10 years? Like, that's no money. I might as well learn by myself how to do, how to do that. You know what I mean? Yes. Um, so, yes. so, um, he tells me it's going to give me 10% and I'm like, that's no money. I'm better off like buying sneakers online and selling, you know what I mean? The profit margins are better. So I was like, I don't think that's a good investment for me. So then I went over to the internet and that's when I found the BWO. I found the BWO and that actually was a scam. And the guy who was teaching us, he decided to teach us futures trading and, um, he was not a good teacher. Uh, some days we would show up into the trade room and there would be no, he would just trade. We couldn't hear him. There was nothing. We just had to like watch and like, like, oh, what's he doing? Oh, that's what he's doing. And I thought this is a horrible way to, to learn, but I was so gun ho about learning it because one thing he did do, maybe he wasn't a good teacher, but he was a damn good trader because I would watch him make five, eight, nine thousand $9,000 in an hour, in two hours consistently, you know, in his trade room. And so that embedded in my mind, I'm like, okay, this is possible because this guy is just a regular old guy doing what, what, what we do in the market and he's making it work. So if he can make it work, why can't I make it work? Mm -hmm. So then from there, he ended up scamming us all. He uh, went on a vacation. We were, I think in week two, he went on a vacation. And then in that vacation, he never came back. And we were only two weeks into training for futures. He taught us two or three tricks, and that was it. I reached out to the company to try to get my money back. I was stupid, so here's some game for all of you guys watching this about courses. I bought the course on my uh, on my business card. On your business card for your business, you only have up to 30 days to ask to, for a chargeback if the other people don't keep their word. So I tried to get my money back. It was after 30 days. Doc, he went on vacation for three weeks and never came back. So when, it, when, I, when I tried to call and get my money back, my credit card had already exceeded the time. So my credit card couldn't do the charge back. I'm reaching out to the company and the company's telling me, oh, uh, the, 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 the program is complete. I'm like the program is not complete. I went on YouTube. I'm sure that there are plenty of things that we didn't learn. You know what I mean? You show, show me a couple of tricks. You show me this, that, and but yo, give me my money back. Long story short, they didn't give me my money back. I left that program. And I found another program. Uh, I didn't give up uh, because I, like I said, I seen the guy make money. You know what I mean? Just cause you, you, you know, you're, you, you don't mean you're a good teacher because you can make money. So mm -hmm. I took it as a loss, just like in martial arts. Doesn't mean because I'm a good fighter, I'm going to be a good coach. For example, Mike Tyson just released the peekaboo uh, uh, boxing program. It's horrible. It's horrible. And I'm a big fan of Mike Tyson, but it's horrible. He, he can't teach, but he can fight. So you get what I'm saying, Doc? Yes, that's right. So then from there, from there, I went to uh, another trader. I don't want to say his name because I don't want to get in trouble or anything. I don't know what the, the rules are around those parameters, but he's got a group called the, the Bomb Bullies. And I went with them and he was a real trader. He was the first person who I saw consistently make money in a trade room in front of us, help us make money. And I watched him trade and he taught me uh, the fundamentals of, you know, buy with the buyers, sell with the sellers, 
why the market is moving the way it moves. The guy before was only teaching me, here, do this trick, do this trick, and you make some money. <laughs> you know what I mean? And that's not good. So I went over with him. Uh, he was a good instructor. He taught me, like, I want to say, if it was a bicycle, he gave me my training wheels. He gave me the fundamentals. But moving from there, there was something missing. You know, me being an instructor for X amount of years, I've been teaching kids, I've been teaching fighters, I've been teaching myself, most importantly. I found myself, also, I'm very coachable. So if you tell me to, you know, run five miles, do 25 jumping jacks a day and 32 kicks on the bag every day, I'm going to do that. That's who I am. Inside, I'm a fighter, so I'm coachable. You can mold me and make me to your thing. So I took everything he did, but there were, I remember him always telling me, no matter what I teach you, you will still have to find your own way. And that's what I like about him, you know, because he didn't say that his program was end all be all. You know what I mean? He said, you still got to find your own way. You got to find out what works for you. And there was a trade that he had taught me called the levels trade. And that trade worked, but it didn't work enough for me. It started to mess with my psychology. And then I wouldn't take a trade because, hey, uh, you know, maybe I'm going to lose this time. And then, it, and then it goes in my favor. So I wanted to practice on how to get better and better and better at just being on autopilot and just taking the trade on autopilot. So what I did was, is I sat down and I start drawing drills. Okay. I start looking on the charts and I was like, okay, I'm going to drill this over and over and over and over until I do it without even thinking about it. I know that I'm going to get punched in the face here or there, but it'll be okay because I've drilled it a hundred plus times. And over a certain amount of time, you know how the game works, Doc. Over a certain amount of time, we win more than we lose. So yeah. I, I sit down and writing out it out and I'm taking all of the plays that he gave me and I'm trying to make drills out of them. And then one day I just said, bro, like, on the internet, there's always somebody who's done something that you think you created, but they did already. And so I go online and I type in really? drills for trading. Yeah, drills for trading. Because I'm like, this is taking up a lot of my time. I can't trade on the market because I'm still practicing drills. I'm still practicing what the guy who I was training with gave me. He didn't have drills in his program. You know what I mean? It was more like you watch the videos and then you go to the market Sometimes you do good. A lot of times you get slaughtered. And then you got to figure out 2020 hindsight after you've already lost a boatload of money, what you did wrong. I didn't want that. You know what I mean? I wanted something more along the lines of martial arts. So I'm typing the computer. I go on the computer. I'm like, okay, cool. Boom. I can't find anything. You know what I mean? Two, three days go by. I don't know how Facebook, they be spying on you. Instagram be spying on you. Uh, your your site came up and I'm like, hmm, I look at it and I looked at it and doc, I got to be real with you. You got to step the site up a little bit. You got to make it look a little cooler because it, it, it looked, it looked, it, it looked it like it was a scam. You know what I mean? It's, it's not like modern, you know, it's not like, you know, new -y, like vibe, like young youthful vibe. It's kind of got that like organ trail, like old school vibe to it. So I was a little cautious before I signed up mm -hmm. and, and um, and um, I went, I actually didn't sign up because I thought it was going to be another scam. I had already got scammed before. Mm -hmm. I wasn't in a scam and I was afraid to leave the group that I was with because I love them. I love the com camaraderie. I love the community. And, and I was actually making money, but I wasn't consistent the way I wanted to be. And I, I felt in my heart that I needed drills. So I let a few days go by. I go back to YouTube. And I don't know if you know, but I was like your biggest fan on YouTube. I was liking like all, all your stuff and mm -hmm. commenting. And I went on YouTube and I watched all the videos of how the PAT system drills work. And I said, man, maybe this is what I need. I went back to the website and I don't know why the first time I didn't see it, but there was a free test, test ride. So I was like, what do I got to lose? It's free. Like, it's free. So I was like, I logged in. Boom. I put in my information. And I got the email and then I found out, I don't know how I missed this, but I could use it on my mobile phone, which I thought was awesome because I was thinking when I'm not, when I'm not busy or I'm not in front of my computer, I can, I can practice, I can, I can drill, I can drill. And so I found that I downloaded the program. And then from there, um, I was, I was sold on it. I think after 
module two, I was completely sold because I was like, this is what I had been looking for. This is what I tried to emulate on my own, but someone had already done it. So then at that point, that's when I paid for the program. But that's pretty much how I got to trading. I got here because I wanted to take the money that I was already making and make more money. I realized that being a small business owner in America is not going to get me the lifestyle that I particularly want to live. It's not going to put me in position to send my kids to the best schools. It's not going to put me in the position to take multiple vacations with my now fiance and things like that. So I wanted to take the money. I make decent money in my gym. I wanted to take that and grow it. And that's how I got into to trading. And that's how I found Pat. Wonderful, very good and educational. A lot of points actually you mentioned. Uh, one is that by watching other people who's trading successfully, it affects your mindset to believe that you can do it too. But it's like watching in, in some professional game, someone doing martial art, and you think by watching that 100 times, million times, you're going to become master. You, you will not. And you, sure. because you coach yourself, you know that. Uh, you need the drill. So actually, it's very rare to see someone understand this clearly. Everyone think that knowledge is important. Tell me what to do. Tell me. I want knowledge. But we, we tell everyone knowledge is like, it's good for academic things. Uh, that was my mistake that I created a course at the beginning and didn't work. I explained everything in 100 videos, very much in details. But we had only 5% rate of success. Then I realized that I need drills. I need some, something that a student practice, 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 and create the right habit at the right time in a right sequence with the algorithm that, that comes from successful system, so profitable trading system. So because of your background, you, you got attracted, you found, you search and you found us and, I'm glad that it worked for you. So uh, I remember you joined, when you joined, you went very fast.